Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. In this action-packed episode, we've got a fantastic new fossil of a raptor preserving internal organs, one of the largest turtles to ever be found, and an interesting twist to the already controversial sale of a T-Rex skeleton. It's once again been a fantastic week for paleontology news, starting off with a new discovery of a mind-blowing fossil from China. Originating from the early Cretaceous age Jehol biota, a new genus and species of Dromaeosaurid has been named based on an exceptionally well-preserved fossil that even displays evidence of internal organs. Called Dawa Long Wangai, this new raptor is found to be a member of a lineage of short-armed Dromaeosaurids unique to the Jehol biota that are closer to the Eudromaeosaurs than to the Microraptorians. A large bluish layer was identified within the abdominal cavity of the fossil which has been interpreted as the remains of this animal's intestinal tract, which is just absolutely incredible, and comparisons were made to the exceptionally well-preserved Scipionyx from Italy, which also preserves an intestine. In both instances, this bluish layer is the result of densely packed microcrystals, formed from the activity of bacteria as the intestine decayed, and preserving the overall outline of the organ. Interestingly, despite Scipionyx being much more basally positioned within theropods compared to Dao Long, the layout of the intestine in both species is quite similar, indicating that the morphology of this organ among carnivorous theropods was quite conserved. So it's an absolutely incredible discovery, telling us a lot more about the internal anatomy of this remarkable group of dinosaurs. Also this week was the publication of a paper describing one of the largest marine turtles to ever have been found. This study explains how marine turtles were common components of the fauna in the subtropical seas around the European archipelago that once existed during the late Cretaceous, but that unlike the turtles found in North America at this time, so far no species had been found with a shell longer than a metre and a half. But that all changes with this paper. A new genus and species of absolutely massive turtle is described, named Leviathanochelis enigmatica, coming from the southern Pyrenees in Spain. The preserved fossils of this animal include the back part of its carapace, a possible backbone, and part of the pelvic girdle. Based on the dimensions of this pelvis, Leviathan ochelis is estimated to have been as large as the enormous Archelon from America, the largest turtle ever known. So Leviathan ochelis is now also one of the biggest turtles known to us, and the paper suggests that perhaps this giant body size evolved as a response to the habitat in the European archipelago seas, which would have had quite unique conditions. Another fantastic discovery then. Also in the news is the interesting report that the sale of the T-Rex skeleton known as Shen has been cancelled. Although it was planned to go up for auction on November 30th in Hong Kong, apparently the unknown owner of the skeleton has decided to loan it to a museum instead, at least according to the auction house. Interestingly, the president of the Black Hills Institute, paleontologist Pete Larson, has said that certain bones of Shen actually look identical to those of the Stan T-Rex specimen, and what seems to have happened is that a lot of the missing bones in the Shen specimen have just been replaced with casts of Stan's bones, which was not made clear when the specimen was put up for sale. So it's a very intriguing twist to the story, and what this means for massive fossil auctions such as this one will be interesting to see in the future. Anyway, that's about it for the paleontology news this week, but before I go I'd like to tell you about a new project I've been working on. We're currently making much longer form videos in the style of a podcast, but with various segments where I, along with fellow university students studying paleontology with me, go out fossil hunting, visiting museums, doing various challenges, and also interviewing paleontologists about their work. The first episode is already up, and we're going to be discussing all the news stories I've talked about here in much more detail during the next episode. So if you'd like to hear more about these discoveries and some discussion about them with other paleontologists, please do be sure to come over and watch. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.